Hey everybody and welcome back to Blue Stinger. In the last part, we turned the power back on and got those bug things off the power plant. In this part, we're gonna go fight something, but we wanna make sure we have the guns and stuff we need out. Uh, let's see, napalm gun sounds good to me, and uh, how are the bullets? Um, ah, let's be ballsy. We can reload in the middle of the fight. Anyway, this is the boss, and you actually don't need to fight this guy yet again. He's not required, but I really recommend that you do. And oh, need to heal. Oh god, got behind the fence. But uh, yeah, this guy can be kind of hard just because. Well, oh hey, we can get the gun right now. Just because oh, there's a small area in which you have to fight him, and you you might end up dying. Like, it's kind of funny with these boss battles. Like, a lot of them, pretty much all of them actually, are pretty much just based off of luck, pretty much. And eh, let's use uh, the real gun. And hey, that does pretty significant damage. Oh wait, never mind. No, it doesn't. Ugh, these dogs, you suck. Oh, come on, that counts. Uh, I'm totally gonna die here if I don't... Okay, I need to switch. I don't know, I probably... Yes. Like, it's so... Uh, I think we're gonna take enough damage to kill ourselves. Oh, alright! Alright, I think this is gonna take the damage he took away, but at least we can heal. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go with large hassies. And, yeah, we're gonna be, be healing dogs and Elliot, but, um... Yeah, it's a really closed off space, so it, it's just like, the bosses don't really have a lot of strategy, because it's just basically just shoot them and run away, <laughs> it's pretty much the method with all of them, what am I doing? But um, yeah, so it's kind of annoying at times, but hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to take them down, and uh, so they'll need to have more health. But this time we won't have to reload, and hopefully we won't be as, we won't be as careless. Alright, well, let's go ahead and reload this gun. Wow, we're running out of magazines for this gun. And, oh, you might have noticed we picked up a weapon in there for Elliot, so, no, not dogs. And this is the bazooka. And, uh, we're gonna use yes. Elliot and, uh, use his bazooka for this guy. See how much damage we can do with that. Uh, holds more ammo than the napalm gun, but, we'll just see what we can do. Uh, here we go. Uh, that does pretty good damage, I suppose. And, uh, but yeah, like, pretty much you just run around here and, oh, I thought that wasn't going to make it. And you try to kill him, just like every other boss in this game, pretty much. And, wow, that actually does a lot of damage. Holy crap. Uh, might as well lose up this last shot here. Boom! Oh, wow. Let's, oh, wait. Oh, he died. Oh. the monster was holding something. Uh, let's see, the car key, which we're gonna really, really, really want, because um, it just helps you transport faster later in the game, which I'll show you later. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, kill this guy. Oh, wow. This weapon is shorter range than I remembered. And, uh, okay, we better switch guns. This one's out of bullets. Uh, let's see. Well, you can never go wrong with the good old handgun, I suppose. And let's see, pretty much just gonna be backtracking now, so let's head back the way we came from and go see what's up with Janine since she cut out last time we tried talking to her on the transmitter thing. So, uh, let's go do that. Let's see, where are we at here? Ugh, Run Road. Uh, well, I believe we can take a little shortcut through Run Road now that we have the power back on. Uh, let's see. Through here. And then you can go through this gate, because now that we have the electricity on, we can open the gate because it's electronic. So, yeah, because this is the only way we can get back now, since we jumped off that, that pillar thing before. And, uh, uh, these things are really annoying. Just run past them. You basically just don't want to be right in front of them when they shoot, because, you know, then you can't dodge. And, oh god, you don't want to have to do a money at once. And right here, I believe, is when we get off this road. And go here. Alright. So, it's, oh, more lasers, more lasers, more lasers, more lasers. Oh god. Okay. So yeah, we got, what games have you guys been playing lately? I just bought Infamous for my PS3, and I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, you're just finally getting around to getting Infamous. It's been out forever. Well, I don't have a lot of money. Screw you. I have to freaking wait 
until they go for cheap used. I got it for like $27, so that's pretty good. Ah, oh, you bastard. So, um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun game, I suppose. You know, it's not as good as people hyped, what people hyped it up to be, but, you know, it's pretty fun. It actually reminds me a lot of Spider-Man 2, like, uh, just the way it's all set up and things like that, all the missions and how it's like just a free-roaming big city and it's a lot like it's pretty much just a remake of Spider-Man 2 except a, instead of a spider a guy with spider superpowers you're just a guy with electric superpowers but um so yeah it's a pretty fun game and uh and then I bought I bought Silent Hill 3 which I've never played any of the Silent Hills but I oh, you bastards I really wanted to because I don't know it just looks like a cool little survival horror game but you know, I, I have no idea, so I just kind of jumped into the series, and I'll just see if Silent Hill 3 is any good. And if not, I might either take it back or I'll probably just keep it, just because I don't normally sell my games back to ass. Why are they all beating up on me? I don't normally sell my games back to uh, game stores. There we go, I had to freaking heal. Okay, so where are we going now? I believe we're almost done getting back from Run Road. I think this is the last area. And hopefully we don't get shot by more of these laser things. And yeah, it's really hard to dodge them without having sound. Like, I can kind of hear the TV, but it's really faint because I have it turned down pretty low. What is it? Nephi? Yes? Ugh! Alright, so we saw that lovely cutscene, so I wonder what's happening with Janine now. She's getting visions from Nephilim. Janine! You did this? I guess she's not on our side after all. Mm, I'm fine. Nephilim is not an enemy. I can see now what she's trying to tell us, but... But... Well, it's a vision. Hard to describe in words. She's not human. I think that's obvious. I mean, she's still an intelligent life form, but well, how should I phrase it? It's as if her body and soul can be detached. The Nephilim we see now is her soul. Her body is in a different place? Okay, so now with that little tidbit of information, let's... I think there's another cutscene over here. Um... Take care. Um... I think... There we go. What's the blue blinking light represent? I don't know. I can't identify it. Well, how do you get into the research lab? I'm sure you can get in with Chris's ID. I wonder if this blue light is the cause of a disaster. Is this one of your hunches again? I'm not twisting your arm to come with me. Don't be a smart-ass kid. The electricity is back on. I can unlock the run road and open the door to the car. It's a lot safer to use the car. Merry Christmas! It's now the 25th. Oh, this is the worst Christmas I ever had. Damn, it's my payday. Did you miss a date tonight? No way. Let's go. 
To the bank? No, to the place where the blue light's at. Call me when you need me, Janine. And as it turns out, Dogs was right. We are going to the bank. So, yeah, instead of going to the car and going past the road again, like Janine said, we're actually going to turn back and go back to Lab Town so we can go get some stuff over there that we, uh, you know, we can have access to now. Because as you may have heard from the cutscene, Elliot gets paid on the 25th, and now he has more money in the bank from his card that we can now access from the bank. So it's a nice, cool little feature of the game. So we're going to be backtracking there, but uh, we're running out of time here, so we're going to do it in the next part. So let's go ahead and take the shuttle down, and I will end off the video. And we will go to the bank and go to Stand the nightclub and all that departure. stuff, and yeah, so I'll see you then. You have arrived.